It was quite surprising to feel anything in my feet again. But it's a little bit different. You don't feel the food itself because it's non-invasive. You feel the vibrations on your stomach. 15% of people around the world are living with differing abilities. Everyday tasks that many of us take for granted can be difficult or even impossible for others. The Cybathlon is a bionic Olympics a world championship of robotic systems for people with differing abilities that aims to advance assistive technology. This year, despite COVID-19, it managed to go ahead in an online format with teams competing remotely. It's not a, a superhuman, super athlete uh, competition. It's a competition of daily life. Um, we have this beam where we have to balance on it with your prosthesis and your leg and you have to carry uh, heavy things over it and they're quite challenging obstacles but all of these obstacles have something to do with your daily life and your daily life obstacles. Teams of scientists around the world take part with a pilot who are all real, differently abled people allowing the research teams to find out firsthand some of the issues presented by daily life. Stefan Poth lost his leg in a motorcycle accident seven years ago and is the pilot for Zurich-based team Neurolegs. The issue we have, the challenge as a leg amputee, is that you have always to be aware of the floor. So the, the control of the floor is very important for us. We are working on site. And if anybody has no um, good visual abilities, then uh, he needs this um, feedback from another part. Giacomo Vale is the lead scientist for the Neurolegs team. Their technology is an add-on to existing prosthetics and provides the user with sensory feedback. We understood that uh, the lack of sensation uh, is something that uh, is really important, uh, both for upper limb and lower limb amputees. In particular, for the lower limb amputees, uh, some information about uh, the interaction of the leg uh, with the ground uh, and with the uh, case of obstacles, for example, or in the dark, uh, is very important. Also to feel this leg as part of your body and not like an external object. The technology um, of Neurolex is able to provide uh, sensation to the pilot. We have these wearable sensors under the prosthetic foot and we record in real time this information during walking. So we are able to record pressure information, position information of the prosthetic device and transfer this information to the pilot. So the Stefan can have an idea about uh, the interaction of the prosthetic leg uh, with the foot, with the ground, with the obstacles, and react uh, based on this information. So how does that feel for Stefan? First of all, it, it was quite surprising to feel anything uh, in my feet again. But it's a little bit different. You don't feel the food itself because it's non-invasive. You feel the vibrations on your stump. So that's a little bit uh, different than uh, the feelings in the food itself. And so you feel a kind of electrical signal in your stump and that's how you receive the data? Yeah, I feel a vibration. Um, a vibration in the front, on the lateral side, on the back side. It depends how I have the pressure on my foot. So if the pressure is on, on the front, then I get vibration on the front of my stump and the other way around. Why did you want to compete in the Cybathlon? For me, um, there are different reasons. One is uh, to show the people what kind of obstacles are uh, very difficult for us, so what kind of struggles we have in, in daily life, because you have to carry things, you have to carry very difficult things like uh, very light plastic apples. They, fly away in the, in the it's a small movements then you, they fall down so you have to be very concentrated you have to be very keen to bring all the things together to the concentration the condition and also the nervosity in the race the other point is the, the competition as well the international competition and the third point is to help uh, the researchers to develop um, items and technology like this 
The Neuralex team is competing in the Powered Leg discipline, which has teams competing from all over the world. The team narrowly came second, but it's not all about winning. The competition is proving to be a strong motivator for the development of assistive technology. There are five more disciplines that take place. Powered arm prosthesis, powered exoskeleton, powered wheelchair, brain-computer interface, and functional electrical stimulation bike race. All the scientists and pilots involved are progressing their individual fields and enabling differently able people to perform tasks that might currently seem beyond their reach. If it's possible to get more feeling in your food, then you have more security to walk. And I think the potential of this technology is to improve daily life for people with leg prosthesis. So um, it's had nothing to do with the superhuman, but it has something to do with getting back in a normal way. And for that, um, I'm very proud of this guys at ETH Zurich and Neuralex and I hope they will improve it in the next years to get them on the market. So much science and tech in that story. And if you want more of that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell button below for notifications.